Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Test how well you know some of your teachers and administrators. And you can get your weekly dose of Devon. NHS TV Live starts right now. National Honor Society will be meeting tomorrow in the lecture hall before and after school, so make sure you attend. If you've been wanting to see what the sidekicks are up to, you can go to their spring show on Friday at 7 p.m. or Saturday their senior night at 6 p.m. Both shows will be held in the pack and tickets are $10. Attention all seniors, Friday is the last day to buy your prom tickets for $65. Starting next week, they will be only sold on Tuesdays and Thursdays and the price will raise to $70. Now here's a chance to test how well you know your teachers, and if your guess is right, you could win a prize. Here are some Texan babies. Everyone loves her. She's sweet, but don't get on her bad side. If you see this man, you know you're in trouble. You will see him in the halls always smiling. Last but not least, you will always feel safe and secure around this one. Tweet your answers at NHS TV, and if you get all of them right, you can get two free movie tickets. Make sure you tweet in your guesses so you don't miss the chance to win two free Harkins Theaters tickets. Do you know how much Devin loves Texas? Apparently a lot. Here he is with the weekly update. Hello and welcome to the Weekly Update. I'm your host, Devin Fortenberry, and it is time for some news. A man in Tennessee faked his own kidnapping in an attempt to get some quick cash. He had called his mom to tell her that he was going to die if he did not get $200. His mother informed the police who then arrested him. Now, I'm pretty sure that usually ransoms are a lot more than $200. So if you're going to fake your own kidnapping, I want to up that price a little bit. In Rhode Island, a man robbed a local convenience store with a potato. The man had disguised the potato as best as he could to look like a fake gun, but I guess the store owner didn't buy it and chased the robber out of the store with a baseball bat. I mean, I think the robber's first problem is that he chose to use a potato as a fake gun rather than, well, a fake gun. Now, we, are, we all appreciate a good selfie of ourselves, but one Los Angeles woman took it one step further. She got plastic surgery, all for the purpose of looking better in her selfies on Twitter and on Instagram. I guess she really grew tired of using filters and decided for a more permanent solution. A few weeks ago, a man was sentenced to 18 months in prison for urinating on the Alamo. For those of you who think that is cruel, I got one thing to say. Don't mess with Texas. You mess with the bull, you get the horn. Texas is neither southern nor western Texas. It's Texas and the William Blake. No one pees on the Alamo and gets away with it. Have a great day, Texans. Remember the Alamo and may the good news be with you. Normally the weekly update doesn't leave us with a message, but this time it's Don't Mess With Texas. 
Tomorrow, you can see who drives the most spirited car in Car of the Week. From the only news station that's all in, this has been NHS TV.